In this unit circle survival guide, we'll find the exact value of the cosecant of 11 pi over 4 using the SARC method. So here's our outline of SARC, which is our acronym to keep all our steps in a nice order. First, we find the angle's terminal side, so we sketch S. A stands for ASTC, which is our method for finding which trig functions are positive in each quadrant so that we can decide our final sign for our exact value. Third, we'll go to R, we'll find our reference angle, and then the special right triangle and coordinates that go with that angle. And finally, step four, the C will calculate our trig ratio. So we're going to do that for the cosecant of 11 pi over four. All right, so step one, we're going to sketch our angle's terminal side. And to do that, to make it a little easier, we want to find the coterminal angle that's one rotation less than 11 pi over four. So one rotation in radians is two pi. And so all we're going to do is subtract two pi from 11 pi over four. So here we have 11 pi over four. We want to subtract two pi, but let's get a common denominator. So that's gonna be rewritten as eight pi over four. And we get that that's going to be three pi over four. So these angles are coterminal, three pi over four and 11 pi over four. And all that means is they share the same terminal side. So we don't really care how we rotated to get there. When we're calculating exact values, we really just need to know where is that terminal side in which quadrant. Okay, so let's go ahead and sketch that terminal side. We know we rotate counterclockwise because our angle's positive. So here's zero. A half rotation would be pi. Okay, and so we can break this into quarters. So here would be one pi over four, two pi over four, three pi over four. So it's halfway in this second quadrant. That's our terminal side for both three pi over four and 11 pi over four. To get to 11 pi over four, you just have one additional counterclockwise rotation than you do for three pi over four. All right, so now we can go ahead and decide, should our exact value be positive or negative? And this is what, one of the most common errors when finding exact values is missing the sign or forgetting to think about it. And that's why I like to do it second. So ASTC, think all students take classes. You just rotate it around starting in quadrant one, and it tells you, it reminds you, which trig functions should be positive in each quadrant. So they're all positive in quadrant one. Sine and cosecant are the only ones positive in quadrant two. Tangent and cotangent are positive in quadrant three. And cosine and secant are positive in quadrant four. So we care here about our quadrant two angle sine and cosecant are positive. Well, we're trying to find the cosecant of 11 pi over four. So we know our final answer must be positive because our angle is in the second quadrant. So we can go ahead and make a mark of that. All right, now we're ready for step three. We'll find our reference angle and the special right triangle and coordinates that go with that. We won't worry anything about the sign. We're going to be drawing that in the first quadrant. Um, because we've already decided in step two, our final answer is positive. So we're just working with our knowledge of the first quadrant here. All right, so the reference angle is the amount of rotation from the terminal side to the x-axis. So we rotated three pi over four pi. If you rewrite it as four pi over four, that can help. You can easily see that we have a reference angle of one pi over four. So that corresponds to the 45, 45, 90 special right triangle Okay, because pi over four is the same thing as 45 degrees. Okay, and then we know that the coordinates that go with the special right triangle are square root of two over two, square root of two over two. And now finally, we can calculate. So on the unit circle, we know the cosecant of an angle is simply the reciprocal of sine. Sine's the y, so the cosecant must be one over y. Okay, here's our y coordinate. We have a small calculation. So we have one over square root of two over two. So really that just flips that fraction in the denominator. So we have two over square root of two. And of course, we're not going to leave it like that. We don't want a radical in the denominator. So let's rationalize by multiplying our fraction by square root of two over square root of two. So numerator is two root two, denominator is two. Of course, those twos are a common factor that cancel out. And our final answer simplifies to square root of two 
and we know it's positive from that second step. So the cosecant of 11 pi over 4 is going to be positive square root of 2. Now eventually you'll get to the point where you know that the reciprocal of square root of 2 over 2 is simply root 2 and you won't have to make that calculation. That's how you get faster at the exact values is just really practicing enough to learn how these work um, and simplify without having to actually calculate it every single time in its um, sort of full calculation. All right, so that's all there is to it. Calculating the cosecant of 11 pi over 4 using the Sark method. If you need help with any of the individual skills, I'll post a link um, to a playlist that has a ton of videos. Um, I'll post that in the video description, as well as links to uh, more examples of worked out exact values. Thanks so much for watching.